Let's talk about fishing. Welcome to our short video. What is fishing and how can you protect yourself and your business from spear phishing attacks? Before getting started, let me tell you a little bit about myself. I'm a security engineer and have been servicing the financial industry since 2002 as a security engineer. I love it. Working in IT has been a dream job and it's a great way to make a living. We love the people that we serve, and that are not just our clients, but lifelong friends. So let's talk about phishing. Phishing is a type of cyber attack in which attackers use deceptive emails, messages, or websites to trick individuals into providing sensitive information, such as usernames, passwords, and financial details. Phishing attacks often involve impersonating trustworthy entities like banks, government agencies, or popular online services. Well, let's cover some of the risk factors when using the machine. Networks over time have gotten more complex. When I first started working in IT, there was no internet or network as we know it today. Technology has grown at a staggering pace and will continue to do so. When using your personal machine at home or when traveling, the risk is only to you. When using a company network, the risk is not only to yourself, but to your employer and the people that you serve. Businesses and people using technology have become way too dependent on technology to keep them safe. Leaving machines and systems vulnerable by not including you, the person that is sitting in front of that machine. So, why do hackers do what they do? Well, let's say the biggest reason is monetary, with very little risk to themselves. One of my favorite examples to use is Albert Gonzalez, who just happens to have come out of Miami, the fraud capital of the world. He was accused of masterminding credit card theft and reselling more than 170 million cards and ATM numbers, the biggest such fraud in history. Albert threw himself a $75,000 birthday party, and one day his money counting machine failed, and he complained about having to count $340,000 by hand. The Secret Service believed that up to $4.3 million was stolen. Alex was caught, and while cooperating with the authorities, along with helping get rid of some of his competitors, he hacked $45.6 million credit and debit cards. Albert was arrested in Miami Beach. The authorities believe they seized $1.6 million in cash. Attackers, for the most part, are located around the world where U.S. authorities have no jurisdiction and in some cases are state-sponsored. Going after them in many cases is just not an option. Never mind that resources are limited. There has been a wide range of major cybersecurity incidents in 2023, from nation-state espionage campaigns to attacks through software vulnerabilities, exploitations, along with phishing campaigns. Significant real-world impacts, experiencing loss of services and crippling financial costs, while millions of individuals have had highly sensitive data stolen, putting them at risk. Technology has come a long way. IT teams have locked down systems, firewalls using gateway antivirus, intrusion prevention, and content filtering. Capture client, cloud inspection of firewalls, encryption, advanced threat protection, desktop antivirus that uses behavior, and advanced signatures, all significantly reducing the risk. But people and businesses have become too dependent on that technology and their IT. The bad guys are also aware of the new technology and need to find a way around it. The easiest way is through you. The reality, we are protecting systems from what has happened in the past and have no crystal ball available. New viruses and malware travel at a staggering pace and can infect systems within minutes around the world. New ransomware attacks never seen before. Never mind what the bad guys are planning that will be completely new. Once discovered, programmers must update software and systems to counter those attacks. In some cases, it can take weeks to get systems protected against the new vulnerabilities. The first step in crafting a successful security awareness program is understanding the current threat. Different people learn in different ways. 
Cybersecurity awareness training requires a multi-pronged approach. Create the baseline, start with a test, send out a phishing test, and see where and who is vulnerable. Start with a live action training, then go to an interactive ongoing training, then ongoing simulated phishing tests. Pull and review reports to see where and who is vulnerable. Meetings to go over those reports and include the users. Create a policy that does not punish the user and rewards them for reporting and continuous learning. Thank you, and I hope this was helpful. was helpful.